Hello and welcome to the American Individual. I'm your host Dylan and today we have a new video for you guys. In this video we have some breaking news. We interrupt this program to bring you a news blast. Terra in a shell. Or another episode of News weekly -ish. But before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content as well as check out the merch store if you want to see the channel grow and improve. Anyways, let's get into the video. Right off the bat, let's just say, I, I know it's not breaking news as this news broke a day or two ago, but it's pretty crazy, so I just wanted to cover it after the dust had kind of settled. Anyways, here are the facts we know now a couple of days past the incident. So over the weekend, Iran launched drone and missile strikes on Israel. They run, launched over 300 projectiles, according to CNN. And I believe there's only one casualty reported, which was a young girl who was injured from fallen debris. So hopefully she will make a full recovery. Uh, but during the attack, the United States, United Kingdom, and Israel's Iron Dome shot down projectiles as they were coming in over Israel and pretty much stopped the attack in its tracks. This was the first direct attack from Iran on Israel ever. Um, and while it was ineffective in its results, uh, it shows the boldness or foolishness of the Iranian government to increase the tension in the Middle East. The Iranian government said this was a retaliation against Israel for attack on a diplomatic building in Syria on April 1st, where Israel killed members of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. And it was actually forewarned, so a lot of the countries in the region apparently, according to Iran, so if we can trust them. Uh, they gave a, a few days notice that they were going to send this attack. So Now, Israel's military and government have stated that they will retaliate. It's just a matter of how and when. And the United States has said that they will not support any counterattacks on Iran. So those are the details and the facts of the news. Now, here's a little bit of my opinion. So is this World War III? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we can't know and we won't know until we're in it. This event itself is a major historical event and will likely not result in de-escalation, but only further escalation in the region. And it's likely to broaden to a larger conflict in the Middle East. And it really depends on what Israel's response is to this whole thing. Because on one hand, if Israel responds with brute force and attacks Iran, this could lead us into a larger conflict, which could lead into World War III. But on the other hand, if they do nothing, this will only set a precedent that if Israel gets attacked by other nations, they're not going to do anything about it. So it's kind of a, you know, a lose-lose situation, if you will. Additionally, I'm not sure how much of this attack was actually an attempt to harm Israel, uh, given the fact that they sent the missiles and the drones from Iran itself so Israel had plenty of time to prepare itself plus they gave ample warning so if you were trying to surprise attack a nation they didn't do a very good job however the attack itself sets a precedent that is not good um, for future attacks um, and looking for you know other other things that could create more conflict in Israel and the Middle East this is one of those things that may have you know been the big spark that lights the powder keg. But I'm not going to sit here and wallow in fear. We will just have to see what happens and have to wait and watch and just see what happens. Now, here's what I know for certain. For all of human history, especially in the Middle East, there have been wars and death and sin, and this life will come to an end. What you can do, however, is you can come to the one true God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Who will save those who put their trust in him and if you don't if you do that then you don't have to worry about what happens in this life whether that's wars or death or famine but we can set our hopes fully on the promise set before us by jesus christ through the holy spirit and i know that sounds churchy but it's true and it brings me the only hope that i have through all this crazy news that's going on so thank you for watching that video Sorry if I was too serious, but it was a serious topic. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content, as well as check out the merch store if you want to see this channel grow and improve. Most importantly, have a good night.